Hi, I'm Luke Sims with Armstrong Garden Center and today I've got three tips to spruce up your garden for spring. First off, to get your veggies and herbs in the ground as soon as possible to get a nice early start. We have over 30 varieties of tomato here at Armstrong, including Celebrity, which are these big guys right here. These are good for slicing and putting on sandwiches. Uh, they're even good by themselves, a little salt and pepper, and they are delicious. Uh, another one we have are Romas. These are really popular in pretty much any Italian dish. They're good for sauces. They make a, they, they hold that pasta together real well. Uh, the last one we've got are the small cherries. We've got the Sun Golds and the Sweet 100s here. They're really sweet, bite-sized. You can toss them in a salad, and they, they give you the, a great explosion of flavor when you bite into them. We also carry a myriad of herbs like rosemary, lavender, and basil. They're, it's important to get them in early so that they can beat the heat once it comes. The rosemary you can use in cooking. It's a big hardy bush, a great staple for your garden. Next I've got lavender. These are great for cut flowers and making things like oils and soaps. They smell heavenly. Thirdly, I've got basil here. This is our most popular uh, food herb that we've got. It is a great flavor included in lots of Italian dishes. The flowers also happen to, to attract lots of pollinators like bees and butterflies for the garden. And you can pair them with things like flowering shrubs such as roses, tajitis, and other flowering shrubs. The next thing you, you can do to get your garden happy and healthy for spring is to use the proper soil. And from squash to succulents, we can meet all of your soil needs. It's very important to use an organic soil that is well-drained with high nutrient content and a regular fertilizer schedule. Uh, we've got the well-drained cactus soil, we've got healthy, hardy veggie soil, and we have a great all-purpose for any ornamentals that you want. Another thing you can do to keep your garden happy and healthy is to introduce beneficial insects. First of all, we have ladybugs that do things like eat aphids, mealybugs, and other soft bodies insects. They're also really cute and fun for the kids. Another thing we've got are praying mantis. Praying mantis are a little bit bigger, a little more fun. They are going to eat larger things like caterpillars and flying insects. The last one I've got here are decollete snails. These are carnivorous snails that you introduce into the garden. They roam around and eat all of the bad snails that you don't want hanging around. For more tips on how to spruce up your garden this spring, stop by your neighborhood Armstrong Garden Centers and speak with one of our friendly gardening experts today.